Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Halloween Happy, where Halloween is more than just once a year. How's it going? My name is Sam. If you are new here, if you're not, hi, hello, can we bring it in for a hug, please? Also, by the way, shout out to Halloween Happy friend Jackie for sending me this, this shirt that I'm absolutely obsessed with. You guys will either see a mail video coming up soon, or you would have already had seen a mail video. It just depends, but. All right, so in today's video, guys, I am bringing bringing you another Halloween haul. These, honestly, I feel like, is that all? I, I think that's like the favorite that people, I think that's the favorite thing that people enjoy from my channel or mostly enjoy is the Halloween hauls. So definitely subscribe, turn on your notifications. That way you're notified when there is a new Halloween haul coming up. There will be a few more, there will be more Halloween hauls coming. So stay tuned for that. And if this happens to be your first time checking out my channel, as I mentioned, my name is Sam and here on my YouTube channel I share with my amazing community how I bring Halloween into my everyday life. I love Halloween. I like spooky things. I love watching horror movies. I, I kind of want to intertwine a little bit of more horror stuff into the channel in like the off months, you know. We'll see. Let me know how you guys would feel about that. I'm just throwing that around in my brain. I've always wanted to do that but maybe we'll have some time this winter to do that. Anyways, so yeah, if you are new here, thank you so much for taking the time and checking out my channel. And if you want to get to know me a little bit better, you can follow me on Instagram. It's at Halloween Happy. We currently are doing the 100 Days of Halloween Happy, which is my yearly photo challenge where you post a photo per the prompt that's on the list. I have a post pinned over on my Instagram. You can check it out. I kind of feel like we're coming up on part three. Maybe we are by the time this video goes live on my channel. So yeah, it's a fun time. I love it so much. I love everything that you guys enjoy about Halloween. I love getting to know you guys. I I do feel bad because I can't like and comment and share every single post, but just know that I am I am creeping on you and I just love you for participating and doing it with me this year. So thank you so much. If you guys want to join my Halloween happy community, I do have a Patreon and it's always a spooky time over there. Just wrapped up the first month of having it and I think it went really well. I'm excited to, you know, just do some more things, get to know more people, get to know my patrons a little bit better, a little bit more deeper. This morning we just had our little Halloween happy hangout which is included in one of the tiers. It's the Creep It Real tier. Part of that tier is that we meet and we just have like a little hangout. You can bring stuff that you're working on. You don't even have to come up on video or you don't even have to talk. You can just listen to whoever shows up. So I did that this morning and shout out to, we had Lulu, we had Amy, we had Alicia, we had Prentice, we had Gabby. I hope I'm not forgetting anyone else. I don't think I am. I think that's everyone that I can remember off the top of my head, but it was a good time, but it was a great time and, and I just love getting to know you guys more. So if you want to join my community over there, definitely check it out. There's tiers starting from $2 on up. So yeah, the link is listed down below. And also real quick, what also helps out my channel, you guys, which I've been having my channel for seven years. It's so crazy. Also in the description, I'm going to include a few of my affiliate links. Affiliate, why does that sound so weird? A few of my links that you guys could use if you are interested in buying some spooky things, adding spooky clothes to your closet, adding all sorts of little things. Um, I highly recommend checking out Die With Your Boots On, which is one of my favorite shops here in Salem. Also, Lively Ghost, which I'm obsessed with. She just released by the time this video comes out I don't know where it's gonna be at but she currently she's been giving sneak peeks of her line of dresses that she designed and they're absolutely stunning so yeah save yourself some money and of course they are affiliate links so I get a little bit I get a percentage if you do use those links and it does help my channel it helps Halloween happy so thank you so much if you ever use those all right so we're gonna go ahead and get started in this video because it's already been seven minutes since I've pressed record. And I am using one of my newer mugs that I recently purchased this year. You guys saw this in a haul not too long ago, like maybe two or three videos. And I have come to the conclusion that the crack is part of the mugs. So this is the mug of today's video. I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> All right, so I 
wanted to keep these hauls a little more organized for you guys so that way you just knew anything that you watched in this specific video was going to be TJ Maxx. Anything you watched in this going to be Marshalls and so on. But it's hard to do because I kind of just, I kind of just have a lot of things that I need to show you. So these items are from TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and Marshalls. There are going to be a few more hauls with things from these stores. So subscribe. You don't want to miss out because I found a lot of cute things. So hopefully I can give you some ideas of what you're looking for. Maybe I can give you some ideas of what you can use certain things. Maybe you have some of these things and you're, you know, you could use them. I don't know, but let's go ahead and get started. So pretty much I scored big on these things I'm about to show you. So one of my favorite things to look for during a Halloween season shopping time is I love getting little treat bags. I loved gift bags. I just, I love bags. I love Halloween bags. I can craft with them. I can use them for snail mail. I literally give anyone in my life, if I give them a gift, it is given in a spooky bag. So I found some and I'm so excited to share them with you. Okay, so I found these little orange goodie bags, these little treat bags. These ones are so cute. These are from Ruby and I'm like obsessed with them. They're so, so cute. They also come with matching stickers. So this is what the treat bag looks like. And then it also has this clear, this clear portion down here so you could see the treats or whatnot. And it just flaps over it is so adorable look how cute this is like treat bags are just my thing I just love them so much and here are the matching stickers so you can always just place one over here and honestly they're so cute you could put little cards in them you can use them for little candy bags for your trick-or-treaters. I am going to, I'm going to try my best, you guys, because I cannot believe September is here. Like, where did the time go? I definitely want to do a few little, like, crafting Halloween craft idea videos, and I would include, like, just my ways that I use little tree bags and whatnot. So if you would like to see some craft videos, because I just want to make sure I'm using the time allotted for my channel and for creating videos to make videos that you guys want to see because right now I just feel like I'm gonna have a lot of Halloween hauls coming I want to switch it up you know okay so these are more of like a lunch bag these just have a stack of jack-o-lanterns so cute and I love that they included these matching stickers right here sometimes I can I, I used to be able to find things like these all throughout the year at TJ Maxx but I don't know if it's just people are buying it also throughout the year or if TJ Maxx is like eh, no one's gonna buy it so let's just put it back in the back room found another set of treat bags these ones are so so cute you just have a bunch of little skulls on them and they also come with matching stickers okay here's another treat bag that I found I have a few treat bags so hang tight with me and also you guys if you're watching as we're doing the premiere where it's live and we have the chat room on the side hi guys hi chat room I just wanted to say hi because it's always so fun chatting with you guys and that's why you should turn on notifications because you'll get notified and then you can catch up with me in the chat you can also catch up with the Halloween happy friends it's always a good time it's a great time okay so here's what this treat bag looks like out of the packaging and again you have the clear little section you have the little clear it's clear down here in his mouth so you could see what's in there and it just folds over and with these stickers you get bon appetit bon appetit little stickers a lot of treat bags a lot of treat bags you guys all right so here's another set this came with two different color treat bags which I love these so much. They're so adorable. So this is what they look like. You get a set of 12 with this one and it has a jack-o'-lantern face on there. And I just love the holo, is it called hologram? Holographic, I just love like the holographic that's on there. And then it also comes with a few black bags that have the jack-o'-lantern face on it. And I love these ones because it has the handle. I should have I untied these, but it has the handle. These are more like gift bags where it folds out. These are super cute. These are really cute. Oh my God, I cannot wait. To, sorry, I just got really excited. I really can't wait to craft and do some Halloween flip books, do some October daily stuff. I'm really excited. So I found two of these and pretty much for the most part, like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls, they all have the same stuff. So you'll find one of these there. <laughs> okay, and then I think, I thought I got a few of these, but 
The next set of treat bags, these ones are so adorable. These are from My Mind's Eye Paper Goods, and these are little Dracula treat bags. So cute. So these are more like the gift bag, I would say. Like I like when it has the sturdiness to it, when it's not just like a lunch sack, you know? And it just folds over. It does come with some string, so you can tie that onto your gift bag when you go to use it. And I just thought this, I thought this illustration was so cute. He looks so happy. Okay, so I found these. These are from Mary Mary and these are just little cupcake liners along with some cupcake decorative picks. I use this stuff to craft as well, also with baking when I do bake, but I mostly like crafting with this stuff and like journaling with it. It's just so fun and it adds more, you know? They've done quite the packaging on this little guy. All right, so here's what the cupcake liners look like. And then you get these little skeleton picks, these little ghost ones that are just so, so adorable. And then over here you get a witch with her cauldron and then some bat. I really appreciate this box too because I can definitely use this when it comes to crafting. Look how cute that is. This is what the back looks like. It's so cute. Look at this little ghost hanging out to dry. You know, I like baking and I don't do it enough, but having stuff like that definitely gets me a little more excited to slow down, bake the stuff, and clean up my kitchen. Like as long as it's for a spooky purpose, it makes it a little easier, you know? Alrighty, so I did find some Halloween sheets. Now definitely check out TJ Maxx, your local home goods, because you can find a good set of sheets that are spooky themed for Halloween, obviously, of course. And then if you also want to have them on your bed all year, like I do, it is such a mood booster, you guys, just do it. And it's almost like, I feel like there's still some people out there who are afraid to decorate for Halloween all year, which is totally fine. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but if you do, why not get some sheets on your bed because then you can always throw like a solid, like whatever comforter you have. But when you crawl into bed with spooky sheets, you guys, I'm telling you, it is such a vibe. It's a vibe. So I snagged some more pillowcases. I love shopping for pillowcases and sheets. And I found this one. So this is skull and bones, it looks like. And you just get two sets, you get a set of standard pillowcases, comes with two. But I really loved this pattern. It's just white, as you can see, and then it says like basic witch, has some witch hats on there, has some little spiders, spider webbing, just all the little witch basic things, you know? It's so, so cute. And thankfully, I found a matching sheet set of the same pattern, and so I definitely had to snag these. So cute. So yeah, I'm really happy about these. I don't know if I will use them on my bed just yet because they are white. Raven, she sheds a lot. Her hair gets over, her hair gets all over everything. These ones I kind of want to keep clean. So I'll probably save them for now. All right, this next item I did find at Marshall's. So I have a lot of Halloween rugs. I also have a lot of Halloween doormats, but unfortunately in our apartment building, we're not allowed to have anything outside of our door like a mat because if someone trips in case of an emergency, I know. So yeah, I have a lot of rugs that are not being put to use right now, but eventually eventually we'll get to a place and I will have, I will have my whole driveway will be covered with Halloween mats and you just drive on top of them. But this one I found because I was like, oh, I can use this inside just because of the fabric and I thought it was so cute. It's this half spider web mat as you can see. It's in the shape of a spider web and it's cut halfway through. I just thought this was so cute. I'll probably put it like this would be good to put in front of the front door, like on our side. It'll also be cute in front of the fridge, like in front of a closet. It'll be cute in front of one of like the side table, like the behind the couch when you have a couch table. Let me know what those are called. Couch cons consoles? I don't know. You guys will tell me in the comments, but I'm really excited about it. This is from Lol, 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 Loy, I believe. Um, But yeah, I had to snag it. It's so cute. I hadn't seen anything like that before and I don't have anything 
something really similar to that so I definitely snagged that and then also I might do like a little fall haul so you guys might see this again in a later haul for like a video that I wanted to do we'll see but I went to paper store it's kind of like a hallmark it's like a gift shop we didn't have any back in Kansas and the first time that I visited a paper store was Joe had told me about it. he's like they have Halloween stuff like you'll probably like it so I try to check it every Halloween season and I don't really like ever get anything there but I do like looking and they have like candles all sorts of stuff it's like a gift shop but they do get like little Halloween things here and there and we went the other day and I found this adorable sweater the brand is Mia and Tess and I found this little pumpkin sweater it's so cute it just has this little pumpkin on it I got mine in a size large because it does have a looser fit to it but yeah I'm definitely gonna use it to do like some layering for the fall and whatnot. I can also wear this into Thanksgiving with the pumpkin, you know, so I can kind of get a little bit more use out of it, even though Halloween really is every day and you can wear what you want, but I don't know. I thought it was just a little nice basic sweater. The next item that I found, I'm completely obsessed with. I hadn't seen any I haven't seen any of these online or anything like that, but I am, I'm just obsessed and I'm so glad I got them and I don't know when I will put them up or when I will use them, but I found, I found these bats that all of these are wall decor of course you can use them for whatever really but they're metal and you can just hang them on the wall and so I immediately fell in love with these because I always buy like the paper bats that you try to stick on the wall and they just end up falling off and so I was like holy crap I need these because I'm always trying to hang my little bats up and they just fall so so I will definitely be using these I was so confident that I'll enjoy these that I got two packs and you get a set of 12 this set did cost $25 so I got two of those and then I found a little ghosty set you guys I'm so obsessed so so cute I wish I would have got double the ghost but I was kind of thinking I'll probably see these again hopefully and if I do then it's meant to be and I'll grab another set but look at how cute these are so as I mentioned they are metal and you just hang them on the wall also these would be good to use outdoors like put them on trees so so cute put them on your front door I feel like they're a little more weather resistant obviously than paper would be and you get a set of six with these ghosts and these were $12.99 so I just thought they were so cute. Okay, and then this kind of goes along with the treat bags and stuff. I found these cute little treat tins that if you want to give like candy, you can also, you can use these for anything. I'm just so obsessed, but um, there are these little pumpkin tins that have these the little paper covers on them. These honestly right, remind me of like, <laughs> Fruit cake? Is that what it's called? Yeah, fruit cake. Okay, it's a Halloween channel, I know, but just hear me out. Um, my mom would always come home with people making fruit cake for the holidays, and she would always bring it in these little things, and it just makes me think of it. But it's good to pack your little lunch. Like you could use them as little gift boxes, you could use them as little cookie boxes to treat someone. So I just thought these were so cute. And I think I think they rotate. I think it rotates with the cream background and then also a black background with the little jack-o'-lanterns on there. So adorable. Okay, so then the next item, I think this is gonna be the last item for this video. I prefer to break these up just so it's a little bit easier for you guys to watch. So definitely stay tuned for more Halloween things. But this item, I just had to have it immediately. I am so excited. So if you didn't know, I live in Salem, Massachusetts, and we are always going downtown. If there's like any events, we always go and we'll like sit down in the common and just kind of chill. And I'm always like, I want to bring a blanket, but then I have to carry a tote bag, which is fine. But I just, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't want to carry anything. But I thought this would be perfect, especially if we want to go down and like sit by the ocean and just look, sit in the common, like if just on a Sunday or something and have a little picnic. Guys, I found this adorable little, it's an outdoor 
blanket. It's an oversized reversible blanket. This is from Hollow Home. It's also water resistant, but it comes into this little carrier. So yeah, the blanket is, it's this candy corn and then it's also orange on the other side so you can flip it flip it and reverse it so yeah and it's water resistant so you don't have to worry about like if the ground is a little wet which it seems like it almost is especially during October here um just like that fall dew oh I can't wait for that fall dew um but yeah this I really love this and this is definitely like I'll be using this all the time and it was only $20 and I just thought it was so cute just to carry it in this it's still Halloween themed which is really fun so definitely a really cool item that I found. I'm really excited about this. This was like in the pillow section, so keep your eyes open. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this Halloween haul. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, so here's a question for you. What Halloween item have you found that you're completely obsessed with or is there one that you're hoping to find? Like what's the, what's the spooky ticketed item for you? I wanna know, leave it down below in the comments so I can see and on your way out, if you don't mind giving this video a thumbs up, it would mean so much to me and help my channel out. And don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram if you want more Halloween happy with fall coming. We're gonna be doing some spooky things, some fall things, so follow me over there so I can take you along with me. If you would like to support my YouTube channel, if you would like to help me and support me with making more content for my YouTube channel, definitely check out my Patreon. It's so fun over there. I can't wait for you to check it out, for you to join, become a member. The link is listed down below. As always, thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I really appreciate it. I love you. I hope this video finds you having a Halloween happy kind of day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!